So once we've assigned priority, we can do what we call assigning a configuration. If you recall, recall on a previous slide, I said that the, the uh, groups around the central atom, these groups here, could be oriented cl clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, we have a little bit of an issue here because in order to assign a configuration, um, we first have to take this molecule and reorient it such that um, the lowest priority group is facing away from us and the top three groups are facing out at us. So in order to do this, I want to show you this in 3D. And I want four basically to face away from me and I want these three groups here to be facing towards me. So let's look at that. So if I take molecule B and I turn it this direction, right? What you notice is that four is now pointed away from me and the top three priority groups are now facing me. We call this the steering wheel configuration. All right, let's look at it again. So here I have it. I have a um, molecule B. And I'm just looking at it, and let's just turn it around so you can see the whole thing. Um, here's the hydrogen, here's the CH3, right? Here is the OH group, and here's bromine. All right, so let's stop that here. What I want to do when I'm reorienting this thing is I want four pointed away from me. I want the lowest priority group away. So I just take molecule B, and I turn it this way. And then I'll correct it a little bit so it'll look straighter. Uh, but you'll see here now these three groups are pointed out at you, and then four is pointed away from you. And so that's what it means when to say to take the molecule and reorient it. And we're going to talk more about this. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. So what I want you to see is here, molecule B. The priority has already been determined, and now molecule B in the steering wheel configuration with hydrogen or the number four group facing back the top three groups pointed out at me and so if you look here this is one this is two this is three if the groups are oriented clockwise then the configuration is R if they're oriented counterclockwise the configuration is S to R and the S are Latin terms R meaning rectus or right hand and then S meaning sinister or left hand okay so here this is one this is two this is three these three groups are oriented in a clockwise fashion and so the configuration here is R alright and we'll do some more complicated examples another time but let's look at that uh, 3D again so I'm gonna go back to here alright this is where I started right and then I want it four pointed away so I just rotate in this direction right and now four is pointed in the back the top three groups are pointed out at me and so now I have um, this in the steering wheel config confirmation and I can just determine whether the groups are oriented clockwise or counterclockwise now one of the things to remember is this it does not matter how many or which way I rotate this thing this is still one two and three if I turn it again this is still one two and three if I turn it around again this is still one two and three as long as I'm not taking changing the position of the atoms then the configuration will never change All right? if I change the atoms and, and put CH3 here and BR here then that changes the configuration but if I'm just rotating it in space the configuration never changes and because of that um, I'm able to say with certainty that this is R no matter where it is located in space right and it's R because of the way that the groups are arranged around the central carbon alright so you see again this is one two three that's clockwise and so the configuration is R alright so here's your turn can you tell me the configuration of these molecules right I made it easy because 4 is on the dash that means it's already pointed away from you so looking at 1 2 and 3 can you put this molecule in the steering wheel confirmation whereas you only see the top three groups and you don't see the fourth group and 
can you determine the configuration? Well, before you do that, you have to determine the priority, which you which I've already done here. All right. So your job is to um, put it in the steering wheel, configure or confirmation, and then determine whether it's R or S. All right. So when we come back to class, we're going to talk more about configuration. We're going to talk about numeric projections, more complex molecules, and even glucose, because the uh, glucose is one of those molecules that you'll see on the, on your standardized exams. Uh, and we'll talk about other stereoisomers, in this case, diastereomers. So if you got any questions, you can email me, you can tweet, or you can come by my office. All right, peace.